story. Wait until you hear this story. This is the final installment in our week-long series, Secrets, Telling My Truth, the fascinating story of Wendy Spencer. Now, when she was 29, a simple DNA test and a suspicion about her father revealed a shocking secret that would play out over the course of her life. And little by little, she came to learn who she really was. When I was 29 years old, my mom decided to tell me a secret. Wendy Spencer was raised mostly in California with her parents. Liberta, a legal secretary, and Roger, a hydraulic engineer in the Air Force. I was daddy's girl. He took me fishing and camping. But home life wasn't easy. Wendy says her parents did not have a strong marriage, and she later learned they were unfaithful to each other. Both of them, you know, behaved pretty badly. They were divorced by the time I was in the third grade. Perhaps even tougher than having to cope with her parents' split, was an idea her father planted in her head when Wendy was a teen. I've always wondered, you know, if you were, you know, really my biological daughter. It left a permanent question in my mind. And when she was 29, that idea became a reality. Wendy's mom invited her to join one of her therapy sessions, and it was there Wendy's mom finally admitted to having had an affair many years earlier before Wendy was born. She discovered she was pregnant and she didn't know who she was pregnant by. I didn't spend a lot of time thinking about it bet between the time that I was a teenager and I was 29. I had four kids, I was working, I was busy. Wendy says it took her 10 full years to finally ask her dad to take a DNA test with her, and he agreed. I had a very strong suspicion that my dad wasn't my biological father. And what she learned from that test was that the man she called dad was not, in fact, her biological father. This person named Bill Miller was my biological father, and I was thinking, how would I ever find this person? There's thousands of Bill Millers. Yet another decade went by. I, for some reason, just decided to finally do it. Wendy took a second DNA test, this time on her 49th birthday. When I got the results back right above my picture was a picture of a man, and it said, William Miller, father, you know, 50% match. I was so shocked. Bill Miller was curious about his own ancestry and was in the system because he had taken a DNA test years prior. Finding Wendy and has been the best thing that's happened to me in this part of my life, but it's been the most difficult, too. Difficult because what Wendy would soon learn is that she and Bill Miller had very different beliefs. He immediately started labeling everybody. They were a Jew, they were black, they were an Anglo. They weren't just tell me their name. I tried to tell him how he talked was hurtful. At the same time, he was still, you know, wanting to hold my hand and he was so happy he met me. When asked if he is a racist, Bill says, no more so than most Americans. My attitude toward things is not, can't easily be put into a, a box. I see goodness and then I'm troubled by a lot of things. So it's not a, a black and white kind of thing. And Wendy learned an even more surprising secret on the paternal side of her family tree. We're back now with Wendy Spencer, her husband Victor, and their daughter Cosette. After a DNA test, Wendy learned a shocking truth about her own biological family. Thank you for being here. So you, you grew up suspecting uh, that your dad wasn't your actual biological dad. So when you got that information confirmed, what was that like for you? <coughs> Just confirmation of what I felt inside, you know, but I needed that confirmation though, because there's, unless you know for sure, you don't know, so. Your mom had a one night stand with Bill Miller, a short, a short affair. Yes. Okay, so she didn't really know him. She didn't know much about him. No, they kept in contact afterwards, mostly by telephone, so no. So when you take the DNA test and it pops up, this picture, Bill Miller, as your dad. Yeah. Were, how, that's because he had already been in their system and the system can match you plus somebody else who's just randomly in there? Yeah, everyone that you're closely or distantly related to, um, whether they have a public or, or a private profile, still shows up under your name. So why did Bill Miller, your biological father, go in to get his DNA tested with 23andMe? 
Well, he told me the reason why he got the test is because he was always afraid that he had black in him and that he wanted to find out once and for all. He told me five different times. That's why he got the test. So you and he are trying to forge a relationship after you find him. Yeah. And he's making revelations like that to you. Yeah. And to you, Victor. Mm -hmm. yeah. Des describe your encounter with Bill. Um, my first personal encounter, he came to visit us. Um, he was going to stay a week. And he had been there a couple of days, and um, there was a day that he and I were home alone, so I took him out to breakfast. And um, I didn't know anything about him, didn't mo know much about him, so I was asking him questions about his life and where he had been and um, where he lived and things like that. And in our conversation, he started using derogatory language, you know, different races and these people and those people. and and. At one point, he said something about Jew or those Jews. It just sounded very derogatory and when he's part Jewish. And so, and I said, you know, Bill, when you talk like that, you know, that's kind of hurtful. And I know you're trying to forge a relationship with your daughter and she's part Jewish and that's offensive. And right out of his mouth, he said, well, you know, people ought to accept me for the way I am. And, you know, and he just went into it. Mm -hmm. And so I just kind of said, well, if you're going to tell me how you feel, I'm going to tell you how I feel. And so um, we had an exchange, and after that, it uh, didn't go so well. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I, th as stunning as that is, you know, to have him openly speaking to you like that, and, and you know, he he says, look, he, he's hurt that he doesn't have a better relationship with you. He wants to have a relationship with you. There was an even more stunning revelation about Bill Miller's father, who is your paternal grandfather. Yes. What was it? Well. Before I went on the trip, Victor told me three different times, make sure you find out the good, the bad, and the ugly. You know, you can handle it, whatever it is about your family. And so the third night that um, we were there, I said that for the third time, actually, and he s began to tell me about his father and how he had, uh, he was a grand wizard in the KKK. He told me that he had taken part in the assassination of Martin Luther King and been part of the Birmingham bombing. And um, I was, you know, I had been asked a couple times before I left, what are your expectations, you know? And I didn't have any, but I was not expecting that. I thought I could handle anything, you know, that I found out, but that was, you know, Martin Luther King Jr. being like one of my heroes, you know, it was just horrifying. I mean, a lot of us take these DNA tests just, just out of curiosity. You had a good reason to take it, yeah. but that information is, that, it's mind blowing. Yeah. And now, you know, Cassette, how does it make you feel to know that that's your great grandfather? For me, um, it, I mean, it's not good, <laughs> but um, I didn't feel like he had anything to do with me, so I didn't feel, you know, oh my gosh, the blood running through my veins, you know. It wasn't that, because I don't believe our ancestors make us who we are. Um, you know, it was sad, but it was just, it was kind of wild, you know. Mm -hmm. Very wild. <laughs> yeah. Very wild. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a riveting story, and your family has been an example of grace and class in handling all of the news. Uh, all the best and thank you for being you. so open thank about you. it. Yeah, Lots you. of love. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Hello today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives.